They'll be calling you a radical, a fanatical. This is why we've done this whole vlog, blog, all as freelancers to defend exactly what happened two days ago, yesterday, as the machine, as the WHO study comes out. This is very clear as my whole post ignorance mantra has been about from the inception a few years ago was about the information agent countering this evil machine. These people have names and addresses and I'll give out you some of the names and addresses. If you don't. This is an elite machine that has done this to you with cable TV. Look, the WHO study. Who is WHO's? World Health Organization. Who is WHO's? The IAA and WHO are the exact same people. These are the people that told you 4,000 people died in Chernobyl. And to Jan, Miss Milk of the Clown, her and I, let's talk about the inception of Fukushima. The day Fukushima happened, I went crazy spewing out. i had been doing this vlog for about a year up in front of this on different finance and my post ignorant socioeconomic movement that I was trying to catch fire. I was heavily involved with the inception of Occupy. I was timing it for the 100th anniversary of the shirtwaist fire. I'd been in Manhattan a lot, you know, working with the people that we were trying to get. So I was calling it post ignorance. They were calling it all kinds of different things, but I was very tied with those people. Very tied. I wanted to coincide it with the 100th anniversary of the shirtwaist fire, which, because it was history repeating itself so dramatically, as it took that to wake people up. Of course, we had that again in Bangladesh, exactly the same thing. Does no one cares? Steep Chinese jobs. But when this that was on March 25th that was going to happen. We know 311 that year changed everything. As I was ready to go to Zuccotti, was scheduled to speak down there, as I argued with them about going to Zuccotti, I said, you know, it's a museum down there. They were right, I was wrong, I wanted to go to DC, but I was all ready to go. I had my play. That's the day I got sick. I was standing with a microphone in my freaking mouth the day I got sick on a table, felt this whole path is, is what it is. But this woman kept going, kept, this person kept coming to me, and Kevin, I've been doing videos right next to your videos from the inception, you know. I thought it was a dude, you know. I call, hey, I call the hair guy, Jan, Miss Milk of the Clown. I think it's so important that she gets video content out on the Who study. This Who study is why we're here. This is exactly everything that we're doing has come to this right here. Okay, they come out with the Who study, and this is... Proves it proves oh conspiracies don't happen they don't exist these elite things oh tell that to Lance Armstrong I used to fight and argue with people in my class all over the world on this vlog about Lance Armstrong this is before I got cancer being a phony prick look you got people would fight me want to fight me to defend it is all hiding in plain sight all this information but you've been postured and groomed so dramatically by this. By the, these are the same people. It is social engineering. Orwell came back, he would be dumbfounded. As you will fight and defend, they throw wedge issues down to you. Guns, gay marriage, you, know, you can't defend yourself with a gun. What are you going to do with a gun? Pull one, they're going to bring freaking the military complex has got tank apparatus. They'll drop a freaking ball from outer space at Saddam. He had how many freaking sands? Look, these are the people who have social engineered... And, okay, for instance, CNN put up the one picture of the one. Her name's Lady Barbara Judge from Texas and double dual citizenship in London. These are the people that own CNN. These are Rupert Murdoch, Fox News Machine. The IAA and WHO's are the exact identical people. And if you want to know everything about what type of people they are, I have all their names and addresses. The type of people that they are. I was in Manhattan in the 90s. Lord Brown, do you guys know who Lord Brown is? He was head of BP. He spoke. I was a semiconductor analyst, a derivative arbitrage says extremely successful. My best friend was an oil analyst. He says, you want to go, Kev? Because he wanted to make waves, and I was like the, the way I am now. You can watch my fuck BP video that I did that started this whole gig, talks about this. So we go in, and in the Q&A session, you know, I raised my hand. My boss sitting right over there, and he was like, going like this to me. And I'm like... And Ryan's like, go, 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 go. They finally called on me, and I stood up, and I said, where the fuck do you get off coming into this fucking country calling yourself fucking Lord Brown, Bill or Bob or fucking Sam, whatever the fuck. This was after they poisoned the fucking Exile Valdez. And remember this, remember this to you elitists out there and all you creeps, all your money can another minute by, oh, they, they really do believe they're above it all. They believe it, they're above it all. 
Tell that to Steve Jobs. You're not above it all! But they believe this, so anyway, they call me and I go off on him. Remember that Valdez accident as it filtered its way through the courts, as the BP is filtering its way through the courts now. As I put up video that said it was going to play out just exactly this way, clear back, man. The Supreme Court stripped all that. That money was appropriated many, many, many billions of dollars to the state of Alaska, to individual people in Alaska, to individual people all up and down that beautiful coast, the California current. Oh, mutt, oh, I mean, I think it was something like $15,000 per man, woman, and child. And they were going to get it directly. The people were going to get it directly. The United States Supreme Court, after all it worked, all that, just with one swipe, took it out. As the United States Supreme Court is completely 100% illegitimate. They mean nothing. They're a joke. They always were a joke. They got some legit. Not, not my words. Not my words. Chief Justice Byers in the Gore Bush after the military coup of 2000. Read Byers' dissent. That photograph of Byers coming out of there will be the, as history looks back, 50, 50 years are going to go back and look and say, what social engineering these one percenters pulled on you? And everybody gets all, oh, you got to be individual, i got to be I, I. doesn't matter. Now that Fukushima changed everything, 311 changed everything. It is all we now because you can't hide. Because we all breathe the same air. No matter if you're a farmer or whatever, if you're totally 100% self you're not self sent because of this. Let's talk about who's. Let's talk about who they are. Whose report as they manipulated Chernobyl. The 25th anniversary of Chernobyl, and I'll post this beautiful, amazing book, these guys put out on in March of 2010, which they did not use the multiple effect. As in finance, you know, we use the multiple effect. You can use the hard number, and people say, well, you argue whether you use the multiple effect or not, but we know it exists. It's five. We've been proved it over and over. Everybody knows that it's five. But anyway, in the environment, it's probably, my guess is it's 20 or 30,000 is the multiple effect as far as nuclear fallout. My hypothesis is this. But they, in hard numbers, this book is so heavily researched and so well done and so brilliant, and they estimated in the hard number that it killed a million people. Okay, you think, oh, that's all, a million people? Think about the treasury being robbed, the the, the young, beautiful, incredible lives being lost for 311, lost 3,000 people. We're talking 1 million in their number. My hypothesis, and always has been, and I've lectured on this over and over, and I can prove it in very detail, my number is right around 40 million people, Chernobyl. Now, that's okay. Let's use their number, 1 million, which their research is powerful. Okay, so we use 1 million. That was one core meltdown, okay, for 87 days. Between 500 and 600,000 men entombed it. No one even knows this story. This is how the propaganda IA machine works so brilliantly. How is beyond me because hiding in plain sight. 1982, the biggest mass protest in American history, even bigger than the 1911 garment district things, is that changed the world. 1.2 million in Central Park alone. How does this happen? Then here comes Chernobyl, the IA machine, as they postured and groomed you. Again, CNN. CNN. Sanche Gupta needs to be in a prison cell. He, I mean, he's going to. I'm going after him like a wolf, as he did his Sanche Gupta MD, and then they pulled it down on March 26th. I have the entire transcript. I have it all. You guys want to see it? I'll post it right here. Read it. You tell me. You tell me. If the black and yellow journalism I've turned. All these terms of mine. As I'm taking my post-ignorance on the road, my debut event's going to be March 14th in Eugene, Oregon, which it should be in that powerful, powerful place. That's where it should be, just by the geographical zone. Right here where I live is exactly on the same parallel as Fukushima. As we lost one of ours, one of our brilliant ones that's in that our, this YouTube site every day. He passed two days ago. My beautiful friend, completely 100% healthy. Cancer is spiking. Okay, so we use that data. So that was one. Fukushima is three full core meltdowns and empty spent fuel pools in number four. Number four, as everybody says, oh, it's going to tip over, it's going to tip over, it's devastate the world. Yeah, you're right, but, but, remember this, the spent fuel pools went dry immediately. And everybody says, oh, it's the tsunami. It was not the tsunami. I know, and I've written piece after piece after piece after this, that these units all over the world, including 104 in Utah, can only handle about a 7.5, 7.6 earthquake. That's the IAAs and the NRC's numbers themselves. I knew a nine. The core fractured on impact. It's over right there. As soon as it fractures, it's in the atmosphere. Boom, just like that. This will kill hundreds of thousands of times more people in the United States than it will ever kill in Japan. 
Why? Because the wind was blowing out by like CNN. Gupta was over there. Should we get out there? As soon as the wind blew in, they got right back here. It's more, it, it is a conspiracy. All conspiracies are not alike, Lance Armstrong. Look, it is true. You think the banksters, the 1% as when Occupy was powerful. Occupy was powerful. It changed. We're having these conversations. As I say, Occupy was the sex, and it wasn't sex born in a crack house. It was sex born of love. That freaking, there was conception there. There was a baby that, I was in the hospital for almost exactly nine months. It's, it's amazing, you know, and a lot of symptoms that pregnant women go through. They tell you, don't eat what you like because you're just puking and you'll hate it for freaking ever. I used to love spinach. I can't even look at spinach now. You know, as the boost. I used to love it. I can't even look at it now. You know, so nine months, you know, I come out of the hospital. This baby was born. And this baby's going to begin to walk. And the environment trumps it all. Yeah, they stole our money. They thieved us, whatever. But, you know, we can live without money, you know we got to have a small certain amount of money. We can get rid of all our shit and our junk and our metal coffins going back and forth, but we can't live without air. And we can't live without oil. This is the crowny jewel. Look, the nuclear industry, whose is the IEA? IEA is CNN. CNN and Fox News, they are the same people. They are the BBC. They are the same people. Reuters, they are the exact same people people as they throw down wedge issues on you and you freaking fall for it and you sit and fight like this while they pull this freaking game their latest lord brown remember this about lord brown why do you have to step down from bp this is the type of people they are he was having sex with 12 year old boys 14 year old boys that's the t this is the circle these creeps they have names and addresses these are people they have just gotten away with this in the history of mankind we have always fought back Pay the Dragon Slayer. It is paying the Dragon Slayer. As I have all these one-liners that I have copyrighted, science fiction economics, that was mine. Cordial conversations are dangerous. Passion, intelligent arguments get results. You guys know you've been watching black and yellow journalism. CNN, Sanjay Gupta, over and over and over. They do this because they can. It's hiding in plain sight. We don't fight back. We get caught up in these wedge issues and we get caught up. In, look, passive, soft activism is a disgrace. You call up your local media have a protest, you think your local media is going to, and that's why this has to start in Oregon. My post ignorance going on the tour, it has to be there because they were the powerful Occupy movement. New York City, powerful. I've been there. Very powerful. Northern California. I was in freaking at UCLA when Occupy, wow. But the or in Oregon, it was powerful. It was really powerful. And the, it's, Occupy is not even close to me. You know, as I called that movement, I wanted to call it post-ignorance as we got into it with everything. And they're like, come on, Kev, get down here. We're going to Zuccotti in lower Manhattan. I'm like, no, 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 we got to do this in D.C. I still talk with them a lot. I was in Manhattan, in the underground of the underground of it. They're brilliant people. It was my favorite piece of art from Occupy was, I don't know if you've ever seen that young man who did his will of misfortune. Oh, I love that. I love that. But remember this. Fukushima will kill, my estimate, will kill hundreds of millions of people. And that's no, you know, when I put up that first radical video, everybody thought I was crazy and radical. Who's, this is the propaganda machine. Who, the IEA, CNN, Fox News, they're all the same. You want one name? I'll give you one. They posted it all over the picture of her. They call her Lady Barbara Judge. She's one of them. Sanjay Gupta's one of them. Anderson Vanderbilt's one of them. But it's bigger than that. These are the, these people, and they have names and addresses. Look, this is a war being waged on you. And it's not what could have happened, going to happen, our children, blah, blah. It's now, right here, right now. It is happening right now. Cancer is going crazy. Chernobyl killed, in my estimation, and my work's very strong work, 40 million people. 40 million. And if you go off these, this book that they wrote out of, which is beautiful. There's tons of studies that have been done all over there. These people, there was a little girl from the Ukraine while I was in the hospital right there. I'm in probably the best leukemia unit on the world by default. There was a little girl from the Ukraine. Beautiful, beautiful. When I did that with my central line hanging out in Symphony with Pussy Riot and Femman, she was going to do it with me with band-aids over her nipples. With her central line all shriveled up and skinny and bald-headed. Her and I agreed to do it. She, it was, you know, she wanted to do it, you know. She died as we coincided it with Pussy Riot, which Pussy Riot's protesting what we're for is the hijacking of Christianity in the name Devils in Hairspray. She passed away just days before I did that. 
Remember who whose is, and this is part of the machine. Fukushima's ongoing. They released this data on it. Do not fuck, not this time, fuckers. Not this time, fuckers, the IAA, fucking who's. I know who the fuck you are. And I'll tell you what, I will fight you with my mind. I don't have to use violence against you guys. I don't. You use violence against me, I'm going to get you, outsmart you, and talk about karma, and you think you're elitist and above this all, you can't get cancer. Tell that to fucking Steve Jobs, one of the, maybe the richest man in the world at the fucking time. All your money can another minute by. Stay tuned.